extra depth on a murder case that both traumatized and changed the borderland. A teenage girl was held up at gunpoint while she was withdrawing money from this ATM. She was shot, robbed of hundreds of dollars, abducted, sexually assaulted, and killed. What happened to Sofia Martinez could have happened to anyone at any time, which is why I'm revisiting this case in this next episode of Borderline Crimes. Sofia Martinez was ambushed on a Friday night, March 10, 2000, and the attack was caught on surveillance camera. The teen was at the ATM on Viscount near Airway when suddenly a man was seen on the video pointing a gun at her car. Then he was at her door and seconds later climbing into the back seat. The video shows a bleeding Sophia making another withdrawal, then driving off with the gunman in the car. This terrifying ordeal took about two minutes. That experience was, uh, it was difficult to see. I mean, this is before the day of videotape out in the streets and where it was very common that people had cell phones and, and today we see crimes taking place all the time. El Paso police found the ATM footage days after Sophia's mom reported her missing. The Burgess High School senior was supposed to go to a club in downtown El Paso, but didn't return home that night. Saturday morning, um, I woke up and I didn't, I didn't see her or anything, but I figured she was in her room sleeping. The 18-year-old's body was found in the northeast El Paso desert. She had been sexually assaulted and shot numerous times in the face and head. Former El Paso police spokesman, retired Sergeant Alvelarde, told me this crime felt different. What was it about it that you felt was different? You know, sometimes you just have a sixth sense in these, these things. When you're a police officer, you get there the way the body was just left out in the middle of the desert. Um, there was no car, so clearly she was just left there. It was random, completely random. And uh, I, I think that was very difficult for our entire community to accept. Um, that doesn't happen in El Paso. Police checked Sofia for DNA and dusted her car for fingerprints after it was found abandoned off the side of a road in Chaparral. But police found no prints and the DNA didn't match anyone already in the system. All they had was this grainy ATM surveillance camera video. They took still images of the killer and distributed it to newsrooms along with a warning for the public. If you're gonna be out late at night, do not be alone in the car. We strongly discourage a person to get out on foot in order to withdraw money, but if you're going to be in the car, do not be alone, especially after hours, and try to find an ATM machine that is well lit. The image didn't yield any credible information leading to an arrest, and the trail went cold and stayed cold for months. Finally, a major break. William Berkeley and Michael Huckes were charged with capital murder. What was that? But I didn't do it. More than six months after Sophia's death, both confessed. Hakkis was responsible for scoping out locations and targeting the victim. Berkeley was the gunman spotted on the surveillance video. But then both pleaded not guilty and went to trial. Is there sufficient reason that Berkeley should get a life sentence rather than the death penalty? He just seemed like a cold hearted person, really. Um, that did not take responsibility for it at all. And I think I got that feeling even more when he walked out of the chambers by me and I, I got that cold feeling. Both were convicted. Berkeley was sentenced to death. Have you come to terms with your sentence? I mean, how, how yeah. do you feel about it? I'm not gonna apologize for killing her because I didn't kill her. I'm sorry, she's dead. I, I asked him if he had any other, if he had anything he wanted to say. Uh, and really what I was trying to see is if he wanted to admit to something, if he wanted to offer an apology. I don't know, you know, you know, something other than the lie that he was telling me for, for an hour and a half. And, and of course he didn't. In my podcast, Borderland Crimes, I lay out the disturbing details that killers confess to in their statements to police. Also, who came forward to investigators and gave them the information they needed to solve this case? Download Abduction at an ATM, The Murder of Sophia Martinez, wherever you listen to podcasts and on KVIA.com. Stephanie Valle, ABC7.